Sashari is, you know, she runs the Mahan house. Shashadri, you mean? Shashadri? Shashadri. Thank you. Mr. Russian Shashadri. Or Lana. I should have shed it a mark by Lana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We never even got any of his baked goods recipes. Oh, no, no, that's not true. Actually, he left one in the will, maple ginger. Oh, that's cookies, that's very detailed. That's right. Those are my favorites. His yeah. legacy. Yeah. There's probably a code in it. I'll take the first letter of every word and start making a list. What does it say? But a few days. Just never. <laughs> does anyone speak infernal? <laughs> a lot of consonants. <laughs> this might not be. Oh, you do. <laughs> We're the fucking legacy. We are the thing he set in motion to make sure it mattered as little as possible. We are his eventual victory. We are his fucking revenge. We are all these things. We I'll are be his revenge. Does this mean we have to change our group name? Yes, it does. The Revenge. Revenge. Revengers. Oh. Revenge. Yes, the Revengers. Ashastri. So I'm going to eat a little maple ginger cookies to get Ashastri's revenge. Ashastri's bosses. No. No. I don't. How about we don't change our name? Why wouldn't she want to rebrand us, Laura? <laughs> you know, I'm just thinking. <laughs> I just got like a whole logo worked out on a couple pieces of wood, you know. So making like a little stamp. <laughs> Should I send a message to Mistress Shashadri? No tells here. No, I don't no, know. She does. We don't need it. Okay. It's me, image. <laughs> Crossing it's the streams. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Lord Estros has fallen. We arrived in town to ha find his house in shambles. As of now, his body is still there. We have documents for you. This is very dire news, but I appreciate you and your forthrightness. Let us meet. Sorry, I did not. <laughs> She's just wasting her. <laughs> Let us meet at the place of your choosing. If not, at his estate. I say we give um, Mr. Shishadri uh, our room number here. I don't know what our room number is. 69. Room 69. Sure. <laughs> As requested by FCG. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Spire by Fire, room 69. <laughs> Be discreet. <laughs> Come in the back door. <laughs> If you have a better location, <laughs> let us know. I'll send a quick message to Evelyn. Hi, Evelyn, it's Bell's Hells. Something terrible has happened to Eshteros. Do not return to the house. You're in danger, girl. Just stay safe and you can reply to this message. I understand. Thank you for letting me know. Oh no, stay safe. I hope he's all right. Mm. You mean we want to message her back and just say, JK, he's actually. I, <laughs> I honestly. <laughs> just was nervous to come out. Wow, <laughs> Oh, I forgot about this. This um, necklace that we found there. I don't know if this is familiar to you at all, but it's not mine. I just put it on so we could give it back to you. Oh, and. <laughs> What else did I take? <laughs> oh, some, some, some dolls that you were making. Oh, that's right. In her, in the dream world. Does it come back in so, for you? Interesting point of order here. Okay, maybe uh, this is. As you go to reach for happened. it, they're not there. The necklace as well. I'm just. Oh, your pantomime skills are. She's been <laughs> really distraught lovely. since you've been gone. Oh, yes. yes. I have. Talking, gesturing oh. to things that aren't there. It might take a little while. Yeah. Stay close to her. That place was very strange. <laughs> Try to make the tiniest sparks of an eldritch blast. An eldritch puff. An eldritch poof. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That was an interesting smell. Still dead. <laughs> Looming, like at the top of it, the, the outer uh, half orc form of Gus in the coat, and then Ollie lower below, kind of looking through. As we've been in the middle of the night, uh, now assigned the investigation of the murder of a Lord Eric Zestros, 
We just need to bring you uh, for some questioning. We're having a bit of a day. Can you just say something uh, that would prove to us that you actually are who you say you are? How's your ex doing? Oh, I took your accent. <laughs> oh, she oh, 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 about this. Oh, people weird about it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you you guys actually have. Here's the motion <laughs> wheel. How are you feeling? Center yourself. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm. I, 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 where's confusion? Oh no! I can't be. Oh no! Take him down! Everybody, I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in the wrong cafe. He chisel. Objections? No. Yes. I don't think he'd want you to do that. He said. Spoke I highly. Up. <laughs> oh, take the letter. I'll put it back in the letter. I cast mending to mend the Ooh. seal back together. Finally, that spell can do yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. Mail fraud. Yes. yes. Two campaigns Two in a row. Campaigns. <laughs> just yeah. roll as well. Yeah. They should just finally rename that spell mail fraud. Mail fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Bumper. Uh, okay, go. This is uh, the grave mystic Weva Vudal. Her eyes, her pupils, these like. Thin, dark pupils across the light white of her eyes that bleeds into the white of her face. It almost looks like two dark dots, just kind of on a blank mask. And both of them just yeah. roll back, and then you just see the white of the eyes, and now it's just this like blank, almost featureless face. I lean over to Ladna. You should remember this one. It looks pretty scary, yeah. right? Yeah. Her hand out in front as she turns her hand over and then tenses her fingers and lifts. As she does, the chest of Eshtaros lifts up a bit, and the head lifts up with it as well. The eyes open, bloodshot, and you can see the coagulation of the blood around the bottom of the eyes, but the jaw hangs open. <sighs> when did you die? You hear the crackling sound of air pushing against dried vocal cords. Not but the day before. How did you die? And there's this like weird, sickly sweet joy as she asks these macabre questions. I was killed by the legend. And who was this legend who was responsible for your death? Legend of the Peaks, Otoar. These strangers. And she takes her hand like this, and then as she twists her arm, the body like oh. twists to turn and face this kind of awful, kind of <laughs> haphazard puppet-like movement in your direction as you see now the, the corpse of Eshteros facing towards you. Were they responsible? No. Twists him back. Do you have any final request? The chest takes one big inhale of foreign air into its no longer warm cavity. To be interred next to Mistress Prudash in the Lucent Memorial Mausoleum. With the final gasp of air escaping, the body goes limp back to the ground. She stands up and kind of like shakes off the remaining ash. Smiles and turns back to Shishadri. Life is satisfied. What do you all think? That was fucking gross. Thank you. <laughs> that was pretty neat. Not physically. We brought letters. I'm right here. <laughs> and letters. I'm ready for pickup when you need. That would oh, be great, yeah. It flew into my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> It's protein. Just eat it. Yeah, it's a, he's just swimming around in there now. <laughs> is it a fly? <laughs> yes, it was like a little gnat. No, it's a circle of life. Yeah, I'm going to still drink it. Yeah, you are. Oh, he's alive! I'm sorry. Ah, what do I do? I feel oh, terrible. Kill it. I can't. Well, now I feel like he lived through that. He's like drowning in coffee. I can't. God damn it. Okay, I'm going to kill him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no creatures were harmed in the making. <laughs> Of this show. Oh, no. Just keep them stuck in the I'm caffeinated. <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> revenge begins now. <laughs> it's okay to be honest and just say, I don't like the way you're looking at me. I'm Lodna, and the, the, the way you're l looking at me is a, a, a little alarm, alarming. I get that a lot. That's all right. I normally do too. It's honestly, it's rare to put me, you know, a little off. I take that God. as a compliment. compliment. Same. Wow. Mm. <laughs> I'm just I'm... feeling a little strange at the moment. Yes, oh. you look like you've had a brush with something recently. A bit darker on the edges, a bit withered. I know this. Ooh, welcome back. Oh, 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 shit. And she starts walking wait, away. Wait. Oh, oh, oh. As she walks ah. away in her head. <laughs> Did you see anything else? She keeps walking and stops. She's not even looking at you. She's just kind of like going off into the night and she stops and you hear a response. I don't know what you mean. Something else around my friend. 
Inside check. Do her body posture back towards you with the conversation you're not hearing? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really good insight. Her you're still reading her. But you get? She's trying to waft out a fart. You're insighting that ass as it walks away. She's been 21 just holding it in the last inside 10 that minutes. ass. 21. <laughs> circles all, all the way around her body. Yeah. You hate to see her leave. Oh, but you like walking around. <laughs> no. Uh, What's going on with your troop? Tell me, I like mystery. <laughs> she breaks up the song. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Best NPC. Of Maybe the we'll. Um... You know, at this point, she looks over her shoulder, back in your direction, like unblinkingly, just. <laughs> <laughs> and continues back then off. she walks into a Tim Burton movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she was claymation the whole time. What's this? What's this? What's this? <laughs> Listen very carefully. I'm listening. I don't even got ears. No, it's not. It's, it's not. Now, now's, not, now's not the time for Sorry. any of Sorry, this. It's, there's a dead man. Yeah. There's, oh, okay. It's very, a lot of, lot of sadness. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, be sad. Look sadder. I can't, it's bone, my face is bone. <laughs> you made me, I can't even make expressions. I don't think I can talk, it's crazy already. I know the I don't have lips. <laughs> I don't have lips or a tongue. <laughs> What's the same thing happened? <laughs> you know, we just kind of ran into her. But what happened in my home was orchestrated, planned. Clearly, so was Eshteros's killing, so. So if we run into her again, it might, it might not turn out the same way that it did. If she takes us down, it could be for good. Yeah. So Rudisian. Gotta, gotta make a call. Oh. oh God. <laughs> the, oh, the hot um, moon. I am worried. Six and nine, six and nine. I gotta and nine. make a call right now. Yeah. I'll find out what's going on. It's <laughs> oh. But you do. Hello. <laughs> uh, it's it's even a red phone. <laughs> Well played, Sam. God, the delay was perfect. <laughs> Where we we figure out who gets custody of no, the play. Can hold on. So Ashton can hold on. We could we could do. There's a fun thing that we could do. Like mid fight, watch this catch, and I throw. It's not the blade's not out. It's just it's just the glove. <laughs> I throw it at you. <laughs> you killed Jenny. <laughs> Why do you always destroy things without telling us you're going to destroy it? Why is there so much death around us? <laughs> Honestly, clearly he was on the edge anyway. I was if nothing else. It was just getting it out of the way. This is all over Sweet. Scythe, Ashton. Really? Well, it was, a, it was actually a, a, a club at the time. He had three more good weeks in him. <laughs> 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 but it's true, Chet does only has. No, you know, that's actually, like, I'm thinking, like, yeah. He's got chisels. And Oh, I thought you were going to say only about three weeks, but that's true, too. <laughs> true. I got to get back to the kitchen. But um, don't be strangers, please. They're all still single if you ever change your mind. Uh-uh. Well. It, 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 thank you, FCG. It's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Hard. But you're all wonderful in your own way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, you very much. Have to. And the friendship means a lot. Ah. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking over at you, as did you like? I know. I'm just. I'm trying. But <laughs> I'm just Imogen can't. actually goes. Ah. Uh, <laughs> can't find anyone so for them. So awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I have tabletop secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen Sam beam like this Look, in so long. I know you're just trying to be a good friend, but just <laughs> let things naturally occur. <laughs> and for some people, they're just fine being themselves. Hmm. They don't need someone to complete them. Huh? Hmm. That's it's very wise. Yeah. Mm. It's very wise. <laughs> no. I have to go drain the bacon grease. <laughs> Wait, is it a yellow? Oh, no. No. I gotta go drain the bacon <laughs> grease. <laughs> I hate it. it is, I hate it. Well, it is now. I'm gonna start <laughs> using it immediately. <laughs> Hey, we made fetch happen. All right. <laughs> In fact, I can't wait for our intermission to go drain the bacon. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> great. So that is a that is a two 
trip gondola ride. Oh one silver. God, you're still doing that? 14 that? silver. So. <laughs> 14 silver, I got this. Okay. I got this. Thank you. Can we just can't send, like, the quick save 100 yet? gold to the city and just be like, we're no, done. Do they I'm have, just, like, a fast just, pass or something? No, nah, like just a, like nickel and diamond use. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're looking for Captain Zandis of the I don't know if, Sun. I don't know if you got advanced word. Yeah, the, the, uh, we're going to be riding this ship today or soon. Sorry. We're the oh. owners of the ship. Right, no, this, this, all right, yes. Uh, hmm. This dialogue tree got weird. I'll <laughs> <laughs> uh, be updated in the next patch, don't worry. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think we we'll finished your paperwork. Thank you. Uh, uh, here, 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 here. I love it. <laughs> oh. Fuck, I always forget. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I have a silver and I throw it at his forehead. <laughs> oh! Thanks! Picks um, it up and puts it in his pocket. You're, you're, you're welcome. Be gone. Okay. <laughs> Runs off, Sandus goes. <laughs> I always told him there are ghosts around the, the docks. <laughs> really? And, um, <gasps> Finally paid off. Oh my god, you should have told me I could totally do like a little illusion, like really Next time, next time we him. come around. Okay. We just gotta give him more silver. Paid off for him, literally. Literally, right. <laughs> yeah. All okay. right. Okay. Well, 300 worth of diet. 300 we went worth. to like one jewelry worth. store before we go, like, we know we're going to like the fancy district and we go to like a jewelry just store. Just to there. get one 300. I'll say by the time the sun starts setting. We have some diamonds. In the bag. There's lots of contention about this. No, 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 this is no, a controversial no topic. We do have diamonds. We had a, a, a bag of jewels that had some diamonds in it, but it wasn't like a full amount. I fight with the sword. <laughs> oh, I crossed it out. I think, used it. <laughs> I think we used it. I think we used it. We have <laughs> two sapphires worth. With your help on top of the rest of the deckhands, by the time. Uh, you finish your shopping by the morning, and the rest of you have whatever the supplies you need before to go. The sails are pretty much repaired. Work so fast, I'm covered in like a blizzard of wood chips <laughs> and shrapnel, but fresh, fresh nicks all over my body because it had to get, it had to get done. Good job, Jamie. You cut yourself a lot. I become one with the wood in the moment, it's like a dance. I'm imagining him shirtless with like wood chips caught in his curly. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chess yeah. Chess yeah. Chess yeah. <laughs> it's like rolling r around on the I floor. I need a hero. <laughs> <laughs> New old spice ad. <laughs> I take a little bit of my red ribbon and I tie pate to it. And I throw him into the air, and I fly him like a kite. <laughs> he goes, no, this is crazy! Oh, no. <laughs> He's like coughing dust out of the skull mouth. Oh, God. Are you trying to kill him? He's already dead. Okay. I'm a kite! <laughs> uh, a dream of your own making. If you want to describe what dream you're in the midst of right now. I'm dreaming uh, of Laudan and I in a hut. Uh, outside of one of the towns that we we stayed outside of for a couple of weeks, um, and I guess it's because of the cookies that Lana just baked. But I'm dreaming that we're baking. Okay, kind of stoking the flames of this oven within a hut. Whole room, all the candlelight went from orange to a deep, deep red. I look for Lana. You look around, and Lana's not in the room, but the door's open. And outside of the hut, you just see a red cloud. I'm gonna step outside the hut. You step outside the hut, and there the storm is around you. You can hear the impact of it, the hut itself creaking and elements of it being pulled away from the sheer intensity of the wind. You can just barely see the shadow of a shape walking in the storm away from the hut and away from you. She's after that. Kind of darkened, clothed shape of what looks like Laudna, the dark hair moving into the wind, just still walking away from you. No, Laudna? No response, just keeps walking. I'm gonna will myself to move faster. Okay, can you just kind of scrape and almost leave the ground, like you're occasionally touching with the tips as you kind of glide in a forward motion to where within just a brief moment you are right at the back of this figure. Londa. Do you reach out and touch it? Mm -hmm. You touch it and it spins around and what was the, the black outfit of Laudna turns around instead is a darkened, ruffled cloak. And you see what you thought was Laudna's hair blowing was tattered shreds of some sort of a, almost looks like a funeral shroud or some sort of a, uh, a deep midnight cloak. Scraggly hair in a lavender-like color. 
that memory that unlocked, you immediately recognize this to be the face of your mother. As she looks back to you and goes, you need to run. Chetney, I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw for me. What? Oh, it's the moon. Oh, shit. I'm your mom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. The, the curse that you hold, for those who call it a curse, it is tethered to the history of Katha, and the transformations have always been pulled by that massive white silver glow in the sky. Rudis didn't seem to have much of an impact. But as you've been focusing and been present and more conscious of these flares, there's always just like a little itch in your belly, like you ate something that's a little off, or there's a a bubble is trying to force itself up to a burp, but you can't quite force it through. <laughs> but this time the itch gets stronger, stronger, until you can't help but try and scratch for it. Fingers go for it, and you scratch for the itch, and you scratch, and you scratch, and you pull, and you tear, and you tear. And those of you who are on the surface, which right now is Fern and Orem, you especially with your perception see Chetney begin to double over and kind of clutch his stomach. Chad. Chad, can you talk to me? You have to pull. You have to be free. You have to scratch this itch. You have to scratch. There's no way. This, it has to has to be set free. It has to be free. It has to be free. He just tears the flesh away from his torso. The skin and hair of the gnomish form flop away like flop a discarded away. costume. Gross. The woven body of Chetney emerges in an angry, aggressive howl before he spins around. The eyes now emanating a dull red glow. And I just hold in place, shield up. Chet, we're gonna hit you until you heal. Knock it off. Orem, what do you, what do you, what do you mean we're gonna hit him until he heals? We're gonna knock him out. Can you uh, restrain, sleep, yes, anything? Yes, yes, okay. Hold person. Uh, 18. Shit. You have the daylight still up, which means make another standard wisdom saving throw, just one roll. <laughs> You manage to shake free this, this this weird sensation. You were just overtaken with the need to scratch yourself, and the itch now fitters <laughs> away. Oh, woo! Wait. One problem. What? <laughs> I'm under a certain number of hit points. Oh no. So make another wisdom saving. Fade back to red. More. <laughs> <laughs> Brief moment where you see the the beast fades from the eyes, and while the red is gone, there he is. Oh! Then the ferocity just overwhelms you at a point. Your defense ends up breaking back before one claw just comes down and like sh strikes you right across the side of the forehead and along the chin. Mm -hmm. And you now have that like heavy streak of warmth you could feel on the side of your face. We're not gonna do this, Chad. Come on. I'm going to. <laughs> You're below a certain number of hit points. I'm, I want to use my shield to do a tripping attack and knock him the fuck down. So you're down on the ground, and then I take my blade and I spin it so the hilt's down, and I go crack on your forehead. I, We're flavoring it as you just cutting that, but we can use the damage to say it's not lethal damage. Okay, okay. And then you're going to soldier boy him with your shield. Yeah, so seven, <laughs> six. So I'm going to then just uh, move around his body so that now Fern is there, he's on the ground in front of me, and I'm right there uh, ready for whatever comes next. You got it. It's 3 a.m. Well, um, <laughs> all right. I... <laughs> but it's the first words you heard out of him. Okay, I don't hit hard with my shield, I just kind of go boom on his head. Bunk. I look down. I'm all covered in fucking gashes. So is Orm. Fern looks all frazzled. <laughs> oh no. The, as you glance up, the flare diminishes, and there's just the dull, ruddy moon in the sky. Oops. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she sounded. Like and I'll drop, I'll drop, I'll drop, I'll drop, 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 well, you know, we learned a lot. But I, I don't understand. It's never been, it's never been the red one before. It's always been Katha, which is so f less frequent. This is, this is a different game. Yeah. Well, maybe we uh, have a buddy system for you at night. I'm sorry. This is it the second time? 
wait. And I, I, gra- I reach out and I grab him. I start turning him. Did I bite you? No. You, you? slashed me up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. But it's fine. Um, <laughs> I meant to turn me into, because I feel like it'd be super fun to also be a werewolf. Yeah, I meant to not. Um, okay. um, In the bank. You All did right. slash my stomach, and hmm? I'm just bleeding. Everywhere, someone what should, you just did. Someone should take care of you. Yeah, you, you look fine. Maybe <laughs> we can just. Can, can I? Could I lead you to my um my quarters? I, I, I have some things. When I I you know sometimes the wounds they can get kind of infected. Yeah, I really like that idea, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna take a rain check because oh. I don't know if this is gonna happen again, and being alone with you in a room might end up with me dead. So, Very fair point. Orm, how about you? Orm's already got self-made clover and uh, moss oh. like growing on the oh, side of his head. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna rub some dirt on it and shake it off. I'm gonna rub something else. Okay. Um, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna excuse what? myself. What? Um, I got. Oh, motherfuck. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> Let me see into the face of your mother, saying this. She steps back, and the wind just no, no. whips her away. But almost like she was just, just strips of cloth. Like as soon as the gust hits, it's like the cloak was all that was there. And you watch it <laughs> vanish into the storm. You glance up, and peering through the top of the dust cloud that continuously consumes the landscape around you, you can see through it. Like it's piercing beyond the limitation that it sets upon your vision. The bright, flaring moon of Ruidus above you. What do you want? No response. Odahan, are you here? Nobody seems to be present. Just the sound of wind. Strong, dangerous wind. I'm gonna reach out my hand and I'm gonna lightning strike the hut next to me and just destroy it if I can. As you reach out your arm, all the weird designs on your body, the extended tendrils of energy that seem to slowly move across your body, completely fill your arm and the bolt strikes outward as it arcs across the outside of the hut. You watch it begin to burn and darken and as it immediately burns up, the wind carries it away. I'm gonna kick up and fly up into the air. You head up and watch as the dust around you begins to subside slightly further and further. That glaring moon above you. You can see the darkness of the stars beginning to come closer and closer. You just concentrate on the moon? Yeah. A few moments later, the bright, shining light of the flare dulls. In that moment, your ascension slows and then stops. And you begin to fall faster and faster. The dust storm begins to pick up again. Faster and faster you plummet, your hair pulling around your face. You begin to spin uncontrollably as the wind begins to kick you around. You fall and fall and fall. You spin and see the ground come towards you. You wake up. I'm gonna get ascending on my mom. Are you there? Imogen? And that's where Anthony takes it. Just by game mechanics, she's oh. almost definitely alive. Man. Don't minimize oh the fact that she's alive! You're not minimizing anything, it was she's fucking dead. awesome. You're definitely, <laughs> definitely Chetney's daughter. We hope that's <laughs> Just centuries. Search your feelings, you know it to be true. <laughs> Same ring to it, but I'm here for it. Oh my god! Holy shit!